The Democrat-Russian collusion story is now so incredible, it would take an insane conspiracy theorist to believe it, even though it's true. The connections are so complex that in order to explain it, we'd need three whiteboards and a paranoid crazy man babbling wildly and drawing lines with a magic marker all over the place while his face turned red and his eyes got as wide as saucers. Fortunately, we have all that on hand. The conspiracy begins with Vladimir Putin funneling millions of dollars to the Clinton Foundation in order to win approval from the State Department run by Secretary of State Hillary Clinton for the Russian takeover of some uranium supplies used by Americans. The FBI, run by Robert Mueller, knew of the bribery but covered it up to keep from embarrassing the Obama administration, which wanted to keep Putin happy so he'd sign off on the deal with Iran to ensure Iran would not acquire nuclear weapons until 10 minutes after Obama left office and couldn't be blamed for them. When Hillary Clinton ran for president, she and the Democrats used the law firm Perkins Co. to hire the firm Fusion GPS, which in turn hired former British spy Christopher Steele, who in turn went to agents of Vladimir Putin, who gave him unsubstantiated dirt on Hillary's opponent, Donald Trump, in what is now called the Steele dossier. When Hillary Clinton lost the election to Trump, she and the Democrats stopped colluding with the Russians to affect the outcome of the election and began accusing Trump of having colluded with the Russians to affect the outcome of the election. They said the Russians had hacked the DNC's emails, but no one saw the hacked computers except CrowdStrike, a company hired by Perkins Co., who had hired Fusion GPS, who had hired Christopher Steele, who had gotten information from the Russians. The FBI, meanwhile, was now being run by Robert Mueller's friend, James Comey, who brought the Steele dossier to Trump and Obama, thus ensuring the dossier would be released by the news media and the media would accuse Trump of being in league with the Russians by using the dossier Hillary Clinton had acquired by being in league with the Russians. Comey also confirmed that the DNC emails had been hacked by the Russians to try to elect Donald Trump, even though his only source was the company that had been hired by the Democrat law firm that had colluded with the Trump Russians to try to elect Hillary Clinton. At this point, Trump fired Comey, who then illegally leaked his memos to the press in order to inspire an investigation into Russian misdeeds by his friend Robert Mueller, who had covered up Russian misdeeds. Mueller has now offered himself immunity in order to get himself to talk. In short, Hillary Clinton and the Democrats accused Donald Trump of doing what they had done and then got the people who helped them do it to investigate whether Trump had done what they had actually done and then covered up so they could accuse Trump of doing what they had actually done. I know, it's complicated, but I'm sure the whole plot will come out when the people who did it are finished investigating themselves. Trigger warning, I'm Andrew Claven, and this is The Andrew Claven Show. I feel hunky-dunky, life is tickety-boo. Birds are winging, also singing, hunky dunky doo Ship-shaped, ipsy-topsy, the world is a pity zing It's a wonderful day, hooray, hooray, it makes me want to sing.